and Crawford Companies in Atlanta, Jewel, 75 years old. Uh, we started here, and uh, we are the uh, largest global claims management company in the world. Um, from a training perspective, I could say first, my wife says I don't follow instruction well, which I clearly don't, because I, when I thought about ROI, I thought about something completely different, about making money. And I focused on what have we done to actually sell our services. And to, in, in my past history, I worked for Phillips Healthcare for a long time, and now with Crawford, we, we package our programs to sell. And so my perspective on, on ROI from a training perspective is how do we get the money back out of what we spent, we put into it. Performance certainly for our own people is very important, but more importantly is you have an asset, and you have an asset and you have thought leadership and understanding of information. How do you take advantage of that to, to the marketplace? And so part of what we do is we structure on focusing on not putting too much of our secret sauce in anything that we do, we keep it a little bit more on the generic side in order that it can be manipulated and used by other organizations. So, and we'll invite not only uh, clients into our classroom, but as well as competitors. Because in our industry, it's a very small niche industry. If we don't share information, we don't work collaborate together, we're not going to have an industry. It's just that specialized. So, one thing is we package it. The second thing I love to do is to try to bundle it. Can we bundle it with the sale? When I was at, at uh, Phillips, what we would do is we would bundle training in with the sale of equipment. What's interesting is you buy a CT every year, but you need seven years of training for this to operate. So great opportunity for us in order to have that availability to us. The other thing that gets you is the stickiness of that relationship, where a sale guy, sales guy goes away and best is going to sell a couple of tubes on that CT going forward. They're constantly coming back to us for training. They're constantly coming back to us for data. They're constantly coming back to us, but what could we do to improve the performance of our people now that they're using the equipment? So great opportunity for us. And I think that the third thing for us is about being a differentiator. So when a client is thinking about purchasing us, our, our services, or somebody else's, learning can be a differentiator. Learning can have that seat at the table in order to say, we can help structure a program that will make it work better for your people, make you perform better in, in, in whatever endeavor you're, you're trying to accomplish. But it all comes back to the fact that learning is, has an incredible <coughs> value back to the client and something that's unique for most, uh, most organizations.